Did you know that Chinese medicine helped women with infertility since before 1000 BC or BCE? Isn't that amazing? Come grab your cup of tea and come join me and let's talk about Chinese medicine as we celebrate the Chinese New Year, the year of the tiger, which is supposed to be a good year. It's supposed to be about um, uh, it's supposed to symbolize resilience and strength, courage, and bravery. So I think we can all use a little bit of that, especially as you're on this fertility journey. So I'm Denise Steyer Erez. I am your fertility godmother and I help women get pregnant and improve their health and fertility so that they can have a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby. So today we're gonna to talk about Chinese medicine, what that is and how it can help you get pregnant. So Chinese medicine, you may be familiar with terms of qi or acupuncture, tai chi, but what Chinese medicine is, it's actually a holistic medicine. It's one of the first holistic medicines or the first holistic medicine that we've had and it's just continued to evolve. So it's quite beautiful and poetic and definitely has a different approach and look on the body. But what Chinese medicine is, is it's um, because it's a holistic medicine, it not only does it have the tools, so acupuncture is a tool Tai Chi or Qigong or like a, is a movement tool to like move energy, right? To unblock any stuck energy you may have heard before. Um, acupuncture, I said herbs, right? And food. Those are all different types of tools that we use in Chinese medicine to help bring your body back into balance. So what we're looking at from when we when you come to somebody who's joined for um who's come if when we work with somebody who's come to work with us for chinese medicine we're looking at everything about the whole person so we dive really deep into asking them a lot of questions because we believe that your body gives you clues your body tells you what you need to know so we talk about diet exercise or movement work you know so if, what is your nutrition? Are you eating nutritious foods? Are you eating foods to nourish your body or deplete your body? We also look at things like, for example, in ways of too much or too little excess or deficiency. So a lot of times when I'm working with women that um, to help them get pregnant, a lot of times I want to know, look at their patterns of their of their body and what they're doing. And if we need to, you know, nourish their body or if there is something that's too much, we need to remove an excess energy from. So uh, there's different, it's so interesting, it's so fun, right? It, and I, I just pulled out my book, I haven't looked at it in years. Look at this book, this is one of my many, many, many books, but it's huge. It's specifically, right, for obstetrics and gynecology and Chinese medicine. So I was having some fun reading it, but one of the most frequent causes of infertility in Chinese medicine they say it's cold entering into the uterus. So when you think about it, cold is constricting, right? It lacks blood flow, so it's gonna create a blockage. And so in Chinese medicine, as well as holistic medicine, and we are learning more and more today in Western medicine, which is super exciting for me, is that everything is connected. Everything in our bodies, all the organs communicate to each other. They all, work together. So if one thing is off, if one thing is wrong, it's going to affect the other organs or the other pathways, right? It's, they all are in communication. So getting those all to communicate together. So let's just take your period, right? Your period is a really important clue on your reproductive health. So let's say if you have in Chinese med and um, Western medicine, you have painful periods or dysmenorrhea, but it just means painful period they would give you, that would be your diagnosis. In Chinese medicine, we're like, okay, why do you have painful periods? Is it because you need more nourishment? You don't have enough blood to nourish the uterus, and so there's pain. Is it because there's cold that invaded, it kind of sounds funny, but cold that invaded the uterus and we need to create more circulation, because again, when you have cold, you have constriction. Is it because you have too much of something? We say, 
we use the word like phlegm, right? That's blocking the pathway so the energy can't flow through, that we need to move that energy or that pathogen out. Is it because you're too hot? Right? So when we really dive deep into finding the root cause of why you are having a painful period. So it can be, instead of just one diagnosis, it could be several reasons of why you have the painful period. And so when you're working with a Chinese medical physician, you're looking working with somebody who's looking at your patterns, your lifestyle, your food, the diet. Um, you look at sex, right? If you're having, to, if you're ejaculating too much, then or you're having too many orgasms, you're having too much sex, we, that can actually be depleting. But if you're not having enough, that can be stagnating. So we need to light the pilot and get you guys going. If there's not enough of that, you know, that life force energy. Uh, we look at digestion. Are you bloated? Are you, um, are you constipated? Are you having, right? We look at everything from, can I just say that? We look at everything. It's very, very deep and very, very intimate. Um, the constitution in Chinese medicine is a big deal. Like what is the energy that you were born with? Like your your strength, you know, do you have good, strong constitution? Do, were you given good genes or were you given genes that are weak and we have to like build you up? So it goes very deep and it's really a beautiful, beautiful medicine. And I, I love the approach because we're looking at everything in your whole body. And so it's really helpful in order to help you get pregnant. And it's one of the ways that I've been trained to use to help women conceive was really diving deep into all the aspects of the life. We look at emotions, the different emotions. Like if you worry too much, for example, any worriers here? Do we have any worriers in the group? If you worry too much and you're not managing it, we say that di that hurts the digestive system. And we have the science to back it up now, which just blows my mind away every time. Because one of the things about me, you may not know, is when I went into Chinese medicine, I was really struggling trying to wrap my head around it because we didn't have all the science behind it. And I needed that piece. But as I've matured and worked with it, I've really understood more of the the philosophy around Chinese medicine. I really am getting that piece, but it took me a long time, just confessing here, to really believe these things. And now every time we get research to show how Chinese medicine, something works that we've been practicing for years, and we now know that in Western science that that affects you for like emotions, for example, that is a big deal as in, in our life and in as on the fertility journey, trying to manage those emotions and how they affect our digestive system and how they affect our our life. If we don't have a good digestive system, then we're not going to get the nutrition, right? That we need to nourish our body, to nourish our uterus, which we call the baby house, the baby palace, in Chinese medicine. Isn't that beautiful? So. There you have it. There's a lot of different things. We have acupuncture as a tool to help the flow of energy and chi go through your body to correct imbalances that work through the nervous system, the circulatory system, the immune system to really help your body get back in balance. Acupuncture is an amazing, amazing tool. We have herbs that really help nourish your body and regulate your body and really help nourish egg quality. There's a lot of herbs, Chinese medic medicinal herbs to help nourish your egg quality, to help balance your menstrual cycle if, or help with pain. We look at the food that you're eating. Again, going back to nutritious food, foods that don't cause an inflammatory reaction, foods that don't hurt your digestive system. So important. We look at circulation and temperature, making sure that you know, do you have cold hands and feet? How do we create more circulation? Where is that coming from? So you can see how beautiful Chinese medicine is and how this holistic medicine can not only help you in your overall life, but help you get ready to have a baby by balancing your body, by using natural medicine, using your own body and your own body's wisdom to help balance you out. So if you have any questions you would like me to answer, go ahead and type in the chat and I will love to answer them for you. Or if you want some help using a holistic approach and go ahead and 
and uh, message me and I will send you a link for a complimentary consultation or clarity session to see how I can help you. Make it a beautiful day. Happy Chinese New Year, Lunar New Year, the year of the tiger. May it be a healthy, prosperous year and may you be blessed with a healthy pregnancy. Bye-bye.